Welcome to The Naomi Show. For you men out there, if you've just ended a relationship, particularly a long-term one, you may be dreading the thought of going back onto the single circuit. And if it's been a while since you've been out there, it could be pretty daunting. Now, the dating scene seems to be constantly changing these days. And if you're unsure about how to go about approaching and getting the interest of the modern woman, don't despair. The two ladies you're about to meet have some great advice for you. One of the elements that you talk about in the book is body language. You say that that's very important for men to have an understanding of it. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. The body language is a massive area and, you know, plenty of books are written on that. So what we focus on is the dating arena and guys understanding women and what they're kind of doing. Um, big one is eye contact. You know, mm. if the woman is looking around the room and a bit like this, maybe even checking her watch, that could be an indication that perhaps they're not really interested in this date. Or they're losing interest pretty quickly. Exactly. Trying Correct. to ramp it up and take exactly. <laughs> and then you've to the next level. Yeah. And then you've also got the classic scenario of someone crossing their arms. That's obviously sort of um, very defensive, mm. but it can also mean that the person at the same time, oh, I'm a little cold yes. type yeah. thing, but I'm also... I'm pushing you away too. Yeah. So it's it's sort of, we, we tap into that. I mean, body language is such a massive sort of topic um, that we've, we've covered this in the book, but we've also covered sort of um, building rapport, which is exceptionally important, sort of between somebody and actually sort of um, bringing that sort of to the surface too. And do you have some little tips on how men can build rapport with women? Definitely, listen. <laughs> nice to listen. I just men have heard that before. If Ask they were listening, questions. That is. You exactly. know, so a lot of men are getting nervous when they're on these dates and they talk and then they talk about themselves and mm. then they yes. talk more about themselves because it's a topic they know very well. <laughs> right. And they're just covering their nerves. So, main tips we advise is listen, ask questions, even prepare a couple of questions before the date on general topics, mm. nothing controversial, <laughs> yes. nothing religious, yes. <laughs> and certainly no ex-partner conversation. They're yes. the types of things that yeah, we have. Yeah, the ex-partner conversation is, is a big one. I mean, it's, it's big for, for men with women as well, because women do have a tendency to bring up the exes on the first dates as well. That's yeah. right, but I, the, from sort of the experience that we've sort of gathered, I'd say that it's happening about 80% of the time Oh, as well really? that yeah. men are actually sort of talking about this so it's fine to if it if they're sort of if, if it's actually brought up in conversation that's great but trying just to say avoid to stay away from it and avoid it if all possible yeah. and i think even if it is brought up in conversation if a guy shuts it down very gently and says look you know um, i have had some relationships they've ended now and cuts it off you'd have more respect for them. I think women have more respect if you're not... If, Absolutely. For instance, if he's being derogatory about his ex-girlfriend, well, it's such a turn-off, oh, isn't that's it? that's right. Totally. And, and men need to realise that, don't they? Definitely. Absolutely. It's treating yeah. people with respect, you know, and that really would be the core backbone of the book, to yeah. be respectful to your dates. You also talk about first dates, don't you, and what not to do and what to do. What are some of the... What's some of the advice you'd have there? pretty much do not plan a whole event. Um, first dates are generally coffees. They're more like a little interview to see if you do want to spend extended periods of time with somebody. And this is particularly if you've met online, for That's instance. right, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Obviously, you meet in a safe area. You yeah. obviously tell people where, where you're going because it, it's obviously dangerous for women, but it also can be very dangerous for men as well, mm. yeah. especially sort of in this day and age. Mm -hmm. So what we actually say is it'd be good to go for a coffee yeah. and just sort of uh, get to know somebody. If you don't want to see them again, that's fine. Um, or perhaps go for a drink or indeed, in, in the end, go, go for sort of dinner somewhere. Um, mm. But somewhere where you can get to sort of know somebody. Where there are other people around. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you, girls. That's great advice. The book is thank fantastic. You. And don't forget, we want to know what you want to know. And if you have any relationship questions or you want to share your dating or relationship stories, We'd love to hear from you and you can leave them on the website at naomishow.com and we look forward to hearing from you. So thanks for your company. See you next time. Your love life. Let's talk about it at naomishow.com.